Dear friends, we have already solved two examples on LZW encoding. You would be thinking that whether it's my one of the favorite topics that I am making another third video of solving in the third example on LZW encoding. Uh, well, that is not the case. Actually, I myself was not very much satisfied. So I thought that I should uh, explain it with another, another simple example so that the concept becomes crystal clear and then you should be 100% uh, able to solve it whenever you are asked so i will not repeat the things very uh, much simply uh, you know that lzw encoding is an is a data compression technique in which uh, you do not want to have any losses it is a lossless encoding and uh, in such encoding you are always given with a dictionary so with this very small preamble yes i will highlight that a very basic tip or the rule of thumb that comes in this encoding that whenever you start encoding a string with the help of uh, lzw encoding if you consider uh, one uh, substring in your iteration one and then you do your iteration two you will not start uh, from the next uh, data number you will include the last data entry of your first iteration as the part of your next iteration if you took ba in the first iteration you have to take ab in the second iteration do not start directly from b so this is a very important rule of thumb okay with this i am going to start solving my uh, solution uh, my example so that you understand so the given string is b a b double a b and three a's so this string needs to be encoded and the dictionary that is given to you is that you can represent a with the code of 65 and you can represent b with the code of 66 so what you are going to make is first of all you are going to make down a table and in the table you can write down uh, I have written down I have made a table in which I have made a column for the smaller substrings I have made a column for you can say the code or the index value of those substrings I have made a column for the output or the encoded output and then there will be a code for that uh, encoded output so string code output and outputs code there are four things okay so let's start making substrings from this string first of all i can take uh, b a i could have taken b but b is already defined to me in the dictionary as 66 so let's not take it we will take b a okay so for b a what is the index value uh, you are uh, you can take index value as um, one but in this question you have been told that you have to take index values starting from uh, 256 this has been told to you in the question okay so if you're not told that from where you have to start your index values you will simply start it from one but in this question you were told that you have to start your index values from 256 so i have started them from 256 okay so for uh, this string what is my uh, encoded output so always remember that the first data entry of your substring gives you the uh, encoded output so what is the first data entry of the substring it is b so my uh, encoded output will be b okay what is the code for b so if you want to find the code consult the dictionary so you have been told that your b is uh, equal to the code for b is 66 you will simply write 66 over here okay now let's take the second substring so you will take second substring like this a b you will start from this a and you will take a b so now the next substring is uh, a b so let me write down a b here okay so after 256 what is next number 257 if it was 1 then the next number would have been 2 of course but now since this is uh, 256 so the next number is 257 this index is uh, just incremented uh, by 1 every time whenever you write the next substring okay so what is the first uh, data element of the substring it is a so your uh, encoded output will be a what is the code of a you will consult your dictionary and the code of a is 65 Okay.
now let's take the next substring the next substring will start from b the pointer will be on b thus this was the rule of thumb that i told you in the beginning so will you take ba no you will not take ba because ba is already present in your uh, data entries table so you will take uh, baa okay uh, every time you have to take a, a unique substring so the index will be incremented just by 1 and what is the first element the first element of this new substring is ba and uh, i will simply write uh, ba here and what is the code for ba so you see that the code for ba is 256 so you will write 256 here this time you have not got the code from dictionary because you do not have uh, a or b anymore you had a unique uh, code this time uh, and for that you had this unique uh, code from within this table okay so now your next string will start from this a and it can be ab but uh, you already have ab in your table so it can be aba so my next substring will be aba i will simply increment the index by one more and uh, what is the encoded output the encoded output will always be equal to the first uh, element of this new substring which is ab so i will write uh, ab here and what is the code of this output so the code of uh, ab is 257 so i will write uh, 257 here okay now i will take the next uh, uh, substring so it will start from this a and it can be aa so i can write down a a here and uh, i will simply increment uh, my index by 1 and the first um, uh, element of this new substring is a so i will write down a and the code for a is uh, you see that the code for a is 65 so i will write down 65 and then i will go back to the string and uh, you can see that uh, we are only left with uh, one element which is uh, a a so basically i can repeat uh, a a here because uh, normally we do not want to repeat but of course you have to uh, do it you have to you want to cover this last a and you have to start from here so of course you have to uh, enter it into your uh, data entries so your aa will come here and it will be incremented by 1 and the first uh, element is a so basically for this last uh, element your first data entry will be taken as this aa because uh, a was already taken so this time you will take uh, aa as your uh, encoded output and for aa you have uh, the code value is equal to 260 here you can see that for this string your uh, lzw code came out to be 66 65 256 uh, 257 65 and 260 so this code uh, represents your this string and so this is how you actually do lzw encoding and um, i hope now the concept is clear thank you very much do like and subscribe to the video allah hafiz